Good morning everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everybody doing very well, staying creative, crafty, cross stitching. Uh, I have today a very interesting video, well I don't know if that's interesting for you, but this is definitely such a good uh, tools and accessories for those who like to cross stitch. And anything else, basically this, this can be used in so many ways. I will start with you, actually, let me start with, um, okay, so this product from VIP Cross Stitch. When this video will be uploaded, I don't know, because literally I upload video right now for the whole month of February. So hopefully when you see this video, all this product will be available in the store because with the lunar chinese new year celebration of spring uh, lots of product wasn't available kind of like a sold out or pull out from the store but did not refill till the celebration is over hopefully you're watching this video after so everything what you see in here will be available and links will be under my video okay if it's not available yet come back later links will be renewed okay uh, so let me start with you with something very little but very very handy and we will start with this little let me bring you a little bit more close in this point i think there's oh 25 good we have them on a bag in here open 25 pieces should we count just to make sure to see if it's correct okay two four six eight ten two four six eight ten twenty five okay perfect nothing is missing oh this pretty pink just one <laughs> like it's a random color see as you can see we have in here in blues, four in blues, some greens, four in greens, three in yellow, four in orange, two in purple, two in red, oh, four in yellow, yeah. So some colors, just a few of them in here, all three actually, this one is random colors. Um, no, oh, four blue, four white, four yellow, four green, four orange, and the other one just a mismatch. So what this clip's good for, I love to use them. Uh, first of all, let me show you like, like nice and close flat on one side which is very comfortable because this can stick into the magnets you can pin in so many ways maybe you do in a braids like with the threads beaden and you need to clip to the board uh, threads what i'm using i'm using them for a cross stitch everybody who stitch with me every wednesday european town you know that i like to pre-park my threads so then later I have lots of work ahead and try to stitch them all. Well, as an example, I have you here already that I can show you that design that I'm stitching. Okay. Uh, let me just check if I have a full light in here. Feels like, no, it's all full. Okay. I might well add some light if I have to. Okay, in here, I pre-park a whole bunch of threads and then I kind of roll them, just a minute. I need to finish this. Okay, so what? that's what I do. I park lots of threads like this. Then I kind of roll around my hand, just like this, not very tight, right? Okay. And then I use this little pins. Now when I have lots of them, I don't have to pin too many at once. I can uh, separate them kind of a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit up there. So it's not too many threads at once. And they go like perfectly good to um, a bigger strong magnet that will stick in here. And so when I work on some certain area, 
um, this threads keeping it all nice and tidy not uh, crisscross each other okay so that's what I like to use them for and yes that's my European town please come over stitch with me every single Wednesday and I believe um, a VIP cross stitch also have this European town uh, cross stitch if you like to order so that's one tool that I really really like those little tiny clips another tool that is really well not a tool accessories let's call that very handy it's this um, pack of three and I got in two colors there's a lots of different colors some of them very colorful kind of like a uh, like a paint splashes I think there's different darker lighter I choose those that have more visibility on the numbers some color you have to kind of pay attention because um, whatever on a design sometimes this numbers that uh, in here could be less visible and I was worried a little bit about this purple one but it's actually very nice I can see very well what this good about you know lately we were reviewing with you designs that have lots of colors 80 90 even 110 I don't know if that video already on air or not but we have each color in, I mean, yeah, two colors, three palette. And that is perfect for your multicolorful designs. In here we have from one, I'm kind of interested that one starts from the center and then go two, three, four, like, uh, and go around, around like this. So in here, this little hole in here, you can use like a shower curtains rings to connect them uh, three together, so you can keep you so you can keep them all nicely together on the ring in here, and you just kind of like a slide and look which color you need to look. And threads obviously going to hang down, or you can braid them later, uh, and very comfortable because paper where after when you pull in the thread it could break it's flimsy it's soft so this palette is amazing and we have in total number in here 111 which is perfect for the canvas that I review with 110 colors um, maybe by the time you're watching this video you will see that already and I think the, that cross stitch was 110. I think it was from VIP cross stitch. I cannot remember now. I recorded yesterday like four videos. So, and the same thing we have in here. This purple color is so pretty. Like teal, minty teal and purple. Look at that, how nice. Very good visibility of the numbers. Uh, no numbers on this side. If you want to mark it up from both sides, you can just literally grab a, a Sharpie and write down same number on this side if you wish or on this side you have a number on the other side you can write down dmc code and that would be also very comfortable uh, to have and dmc and numbers for example after you stitch your design and you want to reorganize your threads you will know at least what kind of dmc you have so i would probably would be a good idea to write down and later when you need to change dmc code you use using a uh, rubbing alcohol 97% or 99% what is a rubbing alcohol and it's very easy to clean later sharpie so this is awesome and I lately uh, started design that I designed my own cross stitch from the picture from um, artist you know the Ukrainian design and that design I did uh, 90 colors which is I think it's 89 give me yeah so 90 colors and this will be perfect for me to put my threads organized very nicely because right now I have up there a uh, paper um, palette like in one and a single so it's like a mess now it's going to be nice and pretty looking and attractive so when I do my whips it looks good right for the camera for the video so I highly recommend this is good quality um, pretty much good enough for opening in here to put lots of threads inside so this one is like must to have because not too many of these palettes have over a hundred colors usually those uh, smaller palettes 
um, could be from that chipboard, like a wooden one. Usually I have like a 25 or 30 colors. I love this. I love the, this idea that they started to create as a pack for the multicolorful design. So that's another wonderful product to have. And then we have in here lots of bags. I think I I thought that they would be like, okay, so there is a PAX, I believe, um, if I remember correctly, I didn't go to verify uh, to the website right now, um, and hopefully it's still available. Uh, you can buy certain size and uh, certain amount of them. I think I ordered like a pack of four and I thought it will be like a different sizes or I'm not sure what I was thinking, but that's a lots of bags in here. And guess what? I have lots of whips that I can nicely organize now. And I love these bags because before I organize my cross stitch, my whips that I'm working on, and look at this. This one kind of show up in uh, those squeaky uh, papers, bags. What is the opening? Okay, close your ears. We are going to pull them out, all of them. The one I purchased in my store in here, Walmart, they are smaller. And I like this one better because this is awesome size for the bigger canvases. And most of my whips are huge designs so they are sure is amazing for me to keep my big designs look at that we have ukrainian flag right in here um so each one in here we have oh i thought it's four it's a one two three four five okay so pack of five yeah each bag in here five uh then this one kind of show up differently in um ziploc bags and I wonder if they are same size or this is smaller one. But this one multicolor one. So it's all four colors, whatever they have, you can order as a pack of multicolors, I guess. So two of this, let's just open them as well. So I can keep them all. Well, actually I will reorganize my cross stitch so I can put them into this bag so in here we have four colors one two three four I mean five colors and um okay hold on kind of flipped okay and this one so we have a beautiful five multicolors and actually it's kind of nice when they have a different colors to quickly kind of recognize what kind of cross stitch you have if you kind of for example let's say you stitch in a cross stitch of roses pick a rosy color you know for sure that it's going to be in the pink one right because roses rosy color maybe you're stitching by the brand of spring spring usually green so put in a green bag Maybe you stitch on something that it's very nice, bright, sunny, well, in a, you know, just to put something. Maybe you stitch on something like this ocean, lots of sky, well, pick the blue one. So kind of you can play this way to quickly remember what you have. But also there's a little like a, a silky, like a ribbon in here. You literally can just write down in here or put sticker in here, what you have, just so you can remember better. But I love the size of them, and I think they are all the same. It's just a different colors, yeah. Instead of have like, you know, pack, you can get all in one color. So I just order all of them to see. Yeah, no, that's exactly the same one. So the interesting thing is I have in here another one, one, two, three, four, five. But what I don't understand, why I have something more in here. This is just a maybe bigger size. Why is this one separate, you know? Or maybe that's how it show. Okay, so I guess that's the package. So you can order by one, by multicolorful or packs of um, same color. I think that's the idea, right? 
Oh, that's a bag. Oh. Okay. Now we're. Oh my goodness. Wow. I totally forgot about this. Yes. This is made as a bag. So. Oh, this is great. I keep my cross stitch whips in a actual like a cardboard box big box when we go shop into the Costco store uh, I usually pick up there like from frozen foods uh, from the boxes the big sturdy boxes so some of the cross stitch I use those boxes to store my cross stitch new new cross stitches and whips as well with the frames because they fit nicely uh, and some of them in my bag like a squished now I can put them in here. Wow, this is huge. You know what? Let me see something. I think <laughs> I think this canvas will fit or maybe not together with the frame. Almost. Almost. Maybe not going to zip because of this bulkiness in here. But you know what? To keep it nice and clean. And usually I keep my book with the floss in here. Just like that. And just put inside of this uh, bag or put a whole bunch of little one your whips all in this bag and put in your closet on a hanger to as a storage um, like this part is super sturdy like uh, th those ribbons like in a backpack or like they are very very strong ribbons uh, how much can handle uh, this part without ripping I'm not sure but I wouldn't be making like too too heavy but this is definitely awesome for the storage let's see how the zipper you know that it's a new zipper when it's uh, connected on the middle so we kind of have to open first to, to close all the way okay so now it's closed now it's open nicely smoothly go so it's just a stitch crisscross in here I'm not sure uh, plus this is waterproof which is another good future to keep your cross stitch from accidents of spilling the water on it and all the print will dissolve wow okay good good this is good I'm, I'm definitely going to organize it and um, the next um, one more in here that I want to show you product oh, I totally love this one this is such a good bag to store huge one because uh, what I found in my store in here it's only like much smaller sizes now this clear book um, right now as I record this video it's only February 10 uh, this books is not available right now but by the time you watch the video hopefully it's already restocked in the store the clear books that I have, uh, I believe, 30 pages. Oh, this one is uh, has a sticker. Okay, I did know we have a sticker in here. Hold on. Maybe we can poke hole with this to get this open. Okay. So I have the smaller books for a diamond painting. I believe it's a 30 pages in here. But uh, I like, like I have them like in a pink color, greens, uh, I think maybe yellow. I have some in white as well, but I keep in them <clears throat> some with the special diamonds, some with the um, brand new canvases 30 by 40 centimeters because that's what fit in it oh sorry just trying to get it out this squeaky bag and I actually like to reuse the squeaky bag later to keep my book nice and uh, clean so we have a 30 pages as far as I remember or is this as yeah 30 packets okay good 30 packets, but if you're using it as a double-sided, which opening in here on the top, uh, so you can put this face and you put face in here. So instead of 30 packets, now you have a 60 packets. What I think about this one, it kind of didn't cross my mind before, but I'm using a very huge one. If you remember in yellow color, this kind of book, 
Okay, it's very reflective. I'm gonna put something colorful so my camera doesn't go after focus, and we will talk. Um, I have a big one book that I'm using for finished cross stitch canvases. Uh, you can see that in my video of um, cross stitch parade 2023. And I have them store, but the, also I have lots of their smaller canvases that is way too big for that book, and they will be perfectly fit in in here. Even like those uh, tiny squares that I have, I can put maybe like four in here, then four on another side. Uh, some many of those canvases will fit perfectly in this space instead of having a big book and lots of empty room. So uh, the other book I can, I can use for my biggest finishes when it's going to be done. Uh, but I will uh, repurpose, uh, you know, and put in here a smaller canvases wherever it's fit. So one day we will sit with you together and I will reorganize together with you. We will put my um, finished cross stitch in here, smaller canvases, and then uh, I think uh, we can do maybe even um, sit together and it's just kind of like a working day, chit chat, nothing really crafting, just to organize some stuff a little bit together. If you like this kind of video, please comment and then maybe I will do like find a perfect uh, cross stitch whips that I can use uh, for my bags, you know, to organize them nicely. and. Uh, I love this bag actually. This is definitely better because uh, when I use my boxes, um, and yeah, don't forget to get these clips. Really good too. If you don't have those uh, bobbins like people using those uh, round one to keep threads together, this will do. This is really nice one. Um, so what I want to say, um, when I use my whips in a box, uh, very often I put like some kind of sheet or like humongous plastic bag to kind of cover over so don't get dusty this way i can put in here a whole bunch of like a smaller whips zip them up the one that i already have on a frame so it doesn't fit in a bag um some of the smaller one maybe will fit in in this kind of bags uh, but with the frame it's not going to fit i can tell you that um so I will put smaller one whips that in a frame in this bag, zip them up, and I don't have to worry that they will get dusty, especially those designs that I have in counted cross stitch that I don't stitch too often. But it's there staying up and, you know, exposed to the sun and dust. I, I will be using this uh, bag for that. So that's great. Okay, I think I'm happy today with everything what I have in here. And I highly recommend you check this out. Uh, whatever links available right now, I will put in the description box under my video. Uh, definitely this bag is uh, worth to get. Uh, nice colors. You can choose multicolorful to separate, you know. But um, lots of cross stitchers using those fancy, expensive bags that they buy in organizers like on uh, Etsy or whatever. Uh, yeah, they are expensive, they cost lots of money, they look nice, but this is cheap and it's safe, so go for it. Thank you for watching and I will see you tomorrow.